is Zertastic and today we're going to create an art piece that focuses on the principle of design balance using radial symmetry. Find your mark makers and coloring mediums and let's make some art. Don't forget to keep your eyes open for Van Gogh's Starry Night as it is hidden only for a moment somewhere in this episode. Today we're going to be making an artwork that focuses on the principle of design balance and we are going to be focusing on radial symmetry inside this artwork. The first thing we're going to be drawing is some cartoon pencils around our page and then we're going to fill in the diagonal spaces with some cartoon paintbrushes. Let's get started on drawing our pencils. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw an oval for the very first pencil at the top of our page and then we're going to draw two lines down from that part and then we're going to draw two diagonal lines that meet to a point. Next we're going to add some zigzag lines where the pencil has been sharpened and we're going to color in the bottom for the lead. Now we're going to draw two parallel curving lines for the eraser and then we're going to draw the face. So we're going to draw one circle and then an overlap a second one and then we're going to give this guy some pupils just like that. We're going to draw a curving line and beneath that the letter U and that will help create the mouth. Inside the mouth we're going to draw a lowercase m for the tongue and then you can use your marker or whatever you're drawing with to shade in the dark areas of the mouth. Okay, next you can add some hatching lines just along one side of your pencil for some shading and texture. All right, now I want you to draw three more pencils around your paper and they're going to go in the top, bottom and both sides, okay? All right, I'm going to start on this side and you can follow along and draw three more pencils. So again, when you're drawing your pencils, you're going to do two lines down from that oval and then have them meet at a point. Two parallel lines for the eraser. Zigzag lines for where you're gonna put the, or where the shaving parts are. And then you can draw your face. Now if you wanna do different faces, you totally can, but if you wanna do the same one, again, you're gonna start off with one circle. And then overlap a second. And I'm gonna have the pupils look at different places on the page so they can look, these pencils will look around at their friends. three pencils done and I'm just going to flip my page and draw my final pencil. I really cannot draw these guys upside down.
We're going to flip this back around and we are going to now get ready to draw some paintbrushes. Okay, we're going to begin by drawing the hairs of all four paintbrushes. And I'm just doing some curving bottoms and then some zigzag lines for the bristles. And they're not all the same, they're just filling in the in-between spaces of my balanced artwork here. Okay, on each I'm going to draw a U shape for where the metal is attached to the bristles and the handlebar. And now I'm going to draw the handles. I'm going to go out, around, and in. Out, around, and in. And these are definitely exaggerated forms because they are cartoons. All right, so I'm gonna do these two guys first before I flip them around because I kind of feel like this is like a ponytail and some hair, so this is kind of gonna be a more of a female figure, but if you don't wanna do a female paintbrush, you can do whatever you want, right? All right, so. Two eyes. Color everything in, but leave one little white circle. Do a kind of a wide letter M. Line across, then add a U shape. And that will create some lips. Then you can add your lines for your bristles, and then you can add some wavy lines, and that will be for the paint on the tip. And then to finish her off, I'm going to just add some hatching lines. And then I'm going to rotate my paper so I can do the next one. Again, two circles on either side. We'll color the eyes in, leaving one little white circle. Little M for the lips and a U. Lines for the bristle. Wavy lines for where the paint will go. Again, we're going to turn. Two circles. Lips. Lines in the hair for the texture. Wavy lines for paint. Oh, I have forgotten my hatching lines on the bodies. Okay. One more time. So we have the drawing done and this is exploring um, balance and we're using symmetry to help us um, create balance. So it could be, it's symmetrical um, vertically and horizontally, but also it is radial, right? So we have a central point in the middle and the balance and symmetry is all radiating outward from that central point, which also draws the viewer's attention inward to the focal point there. Okay, so again, this artwork is focusing on the principle of design balance. All right, next we're gonna do our coloring. So I'm going to go ahead and use crayons and I'm going to color um, all of these pieces. I'm going to do focus on mainly using yellow for the crayons and orange for the paintbrushes. And then I'm going to paint my background purple because that way I'm gonna be um, using complementary colors to create contrast in my artwork to bring the focus to what I've drawn and not on the background, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and color. You can follow along and use the same colors and same mediums, um, or you can use whatever you have at your home or in your classroom. Let's get started on coloring our artwork, focusing on the principle of design balance using radial symmetry.
I'm gonna go ahead and paint my background with purple, which is going to be a complementary color to the yellow, but you can go ahead and paint your background with any sort of cool color, such as blue, green, or purple, as it's going to really force these bright, warm colors um, that are your paintbrush and pencil to pop out because of the contrast created in the artwork between the dark and the light colors or the cool and warm. Once you're done coloring in your background with whatever medium you have chosen to use, your artwork that focuses on the principle of design balance is done. Sign your name and display it. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers! Find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.